Hey guys, Derb here, uh, kicking off a new series. This is called The Gospel According to Neil Fallon. Now, if you don't know who Neil Fallon is, he is the front man for one of my favorite bands of all time called Clutch. Um, he also has a new side project called Dunsmere. So if you get a chance, get their album. It's out now. Um, and he's also... Uh, company band front man's that too with one of the guys from fireball ministry and and stuff and so he's a very talented gentleman um just very cool down to earth you know clutch is incredible and uh he uh his lyrics i just shake my head and wish i could write lyrics like his <laughs> um they're very amusing and uh, just very creative. So I don't know how often I'll be able to do this series. I'll try to do it once a week, and we'll kind of see see how it goes. So see what the reception is like. Um, so each um, episode, I'm gonna examine a song, whether it's Clutch or the other bands I mentioned before, Dunsmuir or Company Band. Um, I'll go over the lyrics, break them down, you know. Then we'll pray. All right, party on. Um, so the first song I'd like to uh, tackle, you know, I thought about going back to the self-titled album. That's when I first got into Clutch. Gosh, what year was that? Was that like 95, 96? Somewhere in there. Um, but I decided, man, their new album is so good. And I saw them on this tour, and it was just an incredible show. They had uh, Crozier Conformity with them, and I got to meet, well, me and my boys and my wife, we got to meet Pepper Keenan and Woody Weatherman from COC, so it was pretty awesome. And, you know, the guys in Clutch, I've met them all. I think this is the sixth, fifth or sixth time I've seen them. Um, and each time, I mean, they're so down to earth, you know. Actually, I, John Paul and Gaster, the drummer, and Neil... I didn't get to meet Neil, but John Paul I met him a couple times, and he's a super cool dude, very nice down earth. Anyway, let's kick this off. So I thought I'd tackle a song from the new album. The new album is Psychic Warfare, so let's put that up there. And thank you. Okay, so pick that up if you don't have it, if you're a Clutch fan, or, you know, go check out a couple of their songs, but definitely buy their stuff, buy their albums. Um, so I'm going to tackle the song Firebirds outstanding song love it um so first verse okay outside of needles i nearly lost my mind i pulled over on the shoulder yeah i was there some time a young thing came walking from out behind the trees she gave me consolations and this is what she said to me so needles must be a location unfamiliar with it you know i mean there's so many points, wrote so many things that Neil Fallon hits that, gosh, you know, I like to think of myself as a fairly knowledgeable person, but I, even I don't know, but, you know, there's some cool cool stuff in there. Um, so, outside of Needles, he nearly lost his mind. Don't know why he was losing his mind, he didn't explain. He pulled over on the shoulder, he was there for some time. Young thing came walking, I assume a young female, obviously, probably not too young, but... You know, young 20s, I would picture. Late teens, maybe. She walked out from behind the trees, you know. She gave me consolations. This is what she said to me. So it goes into the chorus here. Firebirds, energy weapons. Both of these things are interesting to me. I don't care how you get them. I need them both, and I need them urgently. Brilliant chorus. You know, firebirds, what's that say to you? So me many things um you know firebird the car pontiac firebird um airplane there's a spy plane that's been out for a few years now i guess called the firebird um you know the legend of the phoenix there's also legend of the firebird it's some slavic legend from what i understand you know with Neil, you never know which one of these things it would cover. But she's looking for energy weapons, too, you know. So I find this very interesting. 
Does she want a car in the energy weapons or is she looking for a high-tech space or a high-tech spy plane and some energy weapons? Those two go pretty good together, but with Neil, he, he uses a lot of cool muscle car references and some of this stuff too. Um, so you never know. I'm going to go with the car. Firebirds and energy weapons, but hey, could go either way. Yeah, this is just what I get from it. She doesn't care how he gets them. She needs them both. She needs them urgently. So that's kind of an odd thing for somebody to say when they walk up to you, I think. Firebirds, energy weapons. I need them both. I need them urgently. Okay? Don't care how you get them. Okay. So anyway, going on to the second verse. Yeah, I said I can get with that. Oh, I like those things too. But I don't own a Firebird. Perhaps this Dotson will do. Outside of the valley, yeah, we got to overheating. She took off her sunglasses and said, I believe this bears repeating. So, obviously, he says, I don't own a Firebird. Perhaps this Dotson will do. So, there you have it. I Firebird the car. Okay, Dotson is a car, so obviously he thinks she's talking about the car. So, he says, oh, I like those things too. I mean... Some strange chick comes out of the woods and says she wants some firebirds and energy weapons. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah me too. That's awesome. Um, so they hop in his Dotson, obviously. Gets to overheating. So he, maybe that's why he had to pull over on the shoulder outside the needles. His car was overheating, right? It's an old Dotson, so you never know. <laughs> so she's frustrated. She takes off her sunglasses and says, I believe this bear's repeating. Then it goes on the chorus again. Firebirds, energy weapons, both these things are interesting to me. I don't care how you get them. I need them both, and I need them urgently. Goes through the chorus again. You know, you got yourself a solo or a breakdown or whatever. And then uh, verse 3. So, outside of Barstow, we got to living on the lamb. Sometimes doing odd jobs, and sometimes living off the land. Yeah, things went sour, and the girl, she got to packing. When I asked her why, she said there are two things that you're lacking. Wonder what two things those are, right? You can see it coming. Uh, outside of Barso, Barso, California, I assume. Um, I'll have to look up, see if there's a needles in California. I don't know. Because up where I grew up, I grew up outside of a little community called Barstow. It's in northeast Washington. And Neil did live in the Pacific Northwest. But I'm pretty sure he's talking about Barstow, California. Anyway, living on the lamb, right? If you're on the lamb, you know, you're you're being hunted, you're an outlaw, you're, you know, a fugitive, don't know. Anyway, probably going under aliases, doing odd jobs here and there, living off the land. So that tells me they're staying out of the public's eye. Not really sure why. I would probably guess it has to do with the chick. Hmm? If she's looking for energy weapons, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows who this chick is, right? So anyway, he says things went sour and the girl she got to packing. So she's in a hurry for these things. She says she needs them urgently. Neil doesn't really have the ways and the means to get firebirds and energy weapons for her. So, you know, she moves on, you know. Um, usually if a guy can't provide what a woman wants, she's not going to stick around for very long. Uh, so yeah, the girl she got back in my astral wife said there's two things you're lacking, firebirds, energy weapons, both these things are interesting to me, don't care how you get them, need them both, need them urgently, she's gone, try to find some other, you know, sucker to get her some firebirds and energy weapons, anyway, so that's that song, his lyrics are great, that's a great song, Clutch's riffs are awesome. Their musicianship is stellar. Very underrated band. Always have been. Always will be, I'm pretty sure. But they have the respect of their peers because they're such a good band and they're really nice blokes. And they put on great live shows. And they don't do the same set list every night. So, you know, catch them anytime you can live. Check out the side projects, Neil Fallon, uh, Dunsmere. And company band, love the company band. Have to cover. There's. I'm gonna cover a Dunsmuir song too. Bats are hungry tonight. That's a good song. Um, and then you know, the guys from Clutch too. I mean, they had an instrumental project, you know, called the Bakerton Group. 
So, and apparently from what I heard, Neil joined that too. So it's like, it's clutch now. <laughs> but Neil plays guitar and stuff in it, but it's instrumental. So it's it's still clutch. I mean, it still sounds like clutch. It's awesome. So anyway, you guys have been great. Um, so this has been episode one of The Gospel According to Neil Fallon. And not sure which one we're going to cover next week, but uh, I look forward to it. I look forward to talking to you guys again. Man, if it's about music, I'm all over it. So peace out.